Hey guys, Dr. Cyclone FPV, and I'm getting ready to start a build today. So here we go. It's going to be the uh, Revelation 90, which uses the HDLRC Moto Whoop 90 frame. And then we put all the parts together to make this a kit that you guys can build at home. Uh, it's a pretty easy kit to build. It's pretty fun. And it flies real well. Um, I have a couple customers that have given me some feedback recently that said out of the box, once we uh, got it to them, they loved it. It flew real well. Everybody seems to be happy with it. So I figured I'm going to do the video today so we can post this for you guys that are wanting to build it at home. So let me go ahead and split this video up here real quick and show you what we're working with. All right. So first thing is, uh, let me bring all this stuff out here. We have the HDLRC. Uh, this is going to be the VTX. And this is the uh, Zeus 15 amp. Uh, let me get going with this. This is the uh, Cadex uh, Turbo US2 uh, camera. And then we've got four motors, the FD1103 10,000 KVs from HDLRC. Uh, this particular customer wanted the XM Plus receiver. Uh, and let's see, then we have the prop guards. Here's the fourth motor. We have the prop guards, some zip ties, uh, and the frame and everything else here that HDLRC includes. So this is basically what we're starting with. So here's your frame, or here's your canopy. Here's your frame. Here's their battery straps, and then a few other things like antennas, antenna uh, guards and so forth right there. Uh, and that pretty much does it. So uh, with that said, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, prop guards will be used. Everything here is gonna be used. Not everything out of this bag will be used, but I'm gonna show you what you need. And we'll do this build together and we'll knock it out. So. Um, I'm not really sure how I want to start this build off, to be honest with you, because we have the flight controller to get done, the motors to get done. I'm going to take everything off the table. All right, and uh, yeah. I'm going to use the tape real quick, so just give me one second. Okay, well, I'm already in the feed, so that's okay. You can just keep using it. <laughs> you didn't have to make me stop, though. All right, so she's taping up boxes, so have patience for her. It's going to be noisy. That's what she's saying. All right, I'm going to set these up here, put the zip tie, or put the uh, lipo strap. And um, so what I'm gonna do first is let's just go ahead and uh, usually I would stop the video after introducing this stuff, but there's not that much stuff to introduce here. Uh, let me take my watch off so we don't see messages coming across the screen here. Let's go ahead and get started with the, um, the uh, flight controller. So this is a Zeus 15 amp AIO. Got the capacitor right here. Um, Sam, one thing that I don't have from you is the you need to give me an XT30 plug. Okay. Uh, I may have an extra one. I'm looking to see if I have one here. Guys, when you do open your kits, you will have an XT30 plug. Uh, but um, let me see. Do I have one? Uh, I do have one. I could, uh, yeah, I think I can use this one. That's, uh, shoot. No, I don't. Okay. See if you can bring me one from like the, um, you know, that one batch of stuff they sent us? Uh, the uh, ESC and flight controller. I'm sure we have extras there, perhaps. I don't need a big one. It's not a very big drone. Uh, let me see. It's one of the few instances where HDLRC doesn't include one with the flight controller. So anyway, so that'll be on its way. So let's figure out what we're going to do here. First thing is, is this is going to be a 20 by 20 mount, so we're going to mount it just like that. Okay. Um, there is this bottom. Would you bring me? Yeah, perfect. Let me see. Yeah, it's like the one I already had. Is this what came with the other one? Yeah. Okay, well then, I, that's fine. Thanks. Okay. Here. Uh, I just saw one. I just saw that I had one. Yeah, I'd put it in. So if these are the same, I thought there was... No, that's thinner. I'll keep this one. Okay. Thank you. Where are you going with that one? Leave it. Take this one or leave it? No, leave it. Okay. <laughs> Good try. All right, so we have our XT30 uh, connection. Um, so anyways, one of the things that we can do here, if you can be careful with it, I would tell you to do this just because it's going to save a little space, but if not, it's not a big deal. You could always take the bottom of this off. Um, that's what we did on the tank series, but I don't think on this one you're going to even need to do that. Let me just look at a few things here. Uh, no, it'll, it'll give it some distance off. You've got plenty of room on this. Um, all right, so a couple other things here to note. Uh, let's see, we've got sure we've got all the stuff from HDLRC that we need. These are the tools right here, the long screws and so forth, which will hold the canopy in place. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay this out real quickly. Um, because your canopy has mounts that'll go through on this side and this side, we're going to use the long screws for that. So search through your bag here and just, I mean, just you're going to end up with extras. I don't, I don't know how they got a staple to go through this, but um, I just want this here. Okay. 
Let me see if I can get. Okay. All right, so let's get these two screws first because what we want to do is we want to line this up and see if this is going to be aimed. Let's see how I want to do this. If we call this the front, right, then the only thing I need to check here is they have the long screws going in um, in these spaces here, in these screw holes here. So let's go ahead and mount our stuff first. Uh, let me see what else they give us here for their mounting. So many things. Okay, let's see. Let's start with these four screws as well. So take the two long screws that we just pulled out and set those aside. All right, we're going to put those aside for the time being. And let's look at these screws here. And if you just want to check, these are your socket screws, and these are going to be... Um, they look like they're about 12 millimeter screws. Okay, we're gonna take your 12 mil screws here and we'll see if this is gonna be the good length to go with, then we'll go with that one. So they give you four of them. So the way this is gonna lay out is something like this. We're going 20 by 20. So you'll take one and you'll go to each of the far corners. So one, two, and now be careful because you can put them in upside down. I guess they don't fall out. Three and four, just like that. And then when you turn it over, Okay, should look just like this, where you got the four screws here. I'll try to tilt it a little bit so you can see that, but you got the four screws in there, and they're going through the four uh, outer holes uh, because the inner holes are 16 by 16, all right? Which means that if you put your flight controller on now and you see your arrow pointing, it's pointing that way, that's gonna be the front of your quad, okay? Now, we need. they did give us some uh, standoffs here, so we can use those. So let's go ahead and empty this bag of red uh, silicone standoffs and, um, o-rings okay and what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and put and you're gonna have these options here and you're gonna see where it's got like this it's got like a larger bottom and then a thinner bottom and a thinner top I mean and usually if you had a bigger flight controller hole it would go through there but we're not gonna use that so let's just go ahead and put them straight on like this and I'd put them with the wider side down okay and this way what will happen is it actually keeps your screws from falling out too kind of has a double so if you see right there now I can hold it if you look at that you can see it's just like that right now when you put your flight controller on once you tighten it down let's say you were going to tighten it down uh, that's going to give your flight controller um, some some bounce right there okay uh, they also give you in this setup right here if you open this bag These are the uh, nylon spacers. So those would actually go on top of your flight control and they'll tighten down. And when they tighten down, and I'm really just doing this so you can see the layout of how this should look, okay? Because we're gonna end up obviously taking this apart here in just a minute so that we can get everything ready, but you could put this part down together. So I'll wait for you to catch up with me on this, but this would be how you want the flight controller to go on. Okay, just like that, you see? So when they screw down all the way, they give your flight controller some space, and that's how you can run your uh, LiPo strap, right? You just tighten these down, and there you go. So your flight controller has some bounce to it here, right? And then what you would do is you could take your VTX, and you could take this out if you want, or you could just wait. We're not gonna start on the VTX right now, but we're going to just see how it's gonna look. Here you could take your VTX, that's the front, so this is the back. You could sit this just like this, okay? And then they gave you these nylon fasteners to tighten that down. So the O-rings are not needed right now. So we could just set those aside. And they give you eight of these rubber standoffs. You only need four of them. So you can save those for extras. Why don't you just take the O-rings and save those as well? That's extra equipment. And that will take care of two bags that they've given us of stuff. I'm going to toss those out and then you've still got a lot of stuff left over that they've given you but right now we're not going to be using these okay so let's just hold on to that all right I'm going to take the flight controller out I mean the VTX out I'm going to set it aside and we're going to come back here guys I'm going to leave the table just like this and we're going to come back to get started with the rest but I want you to get caught up so if you uh if you try to figure out where we're at we've used the um 12 millimeter screws the four of them that came with this then we've used four of the standoffs 
And then we've put the flight controller on and we've used four of the nylon um, uh, standoffs after that, okay? So get to that point and then you're gonna start with the next one. Ready? Be right back.